Hello friends, today let's learn how to create this easy animated character in PowerPoint. So first I've taken this picture from Pixabay and then I've cropped all the body parts which I need to animate. I'll also add a video on how to crop an image by shape. So now let's start reassembling the body. I have made another copy of the face. We will see why we need this when we animate. Now I will cover the eyes and the mouth with the same color as the skin color so that the eyes and the mouth can also be animated. The exact shade of the skin can be found out through paintbrush by color picker. Now group the entire face along with the squares that we have pasted. Now we will again add the eyes and the mouth over the new face that we have created and ensure that you bring it to front Now let's start adding the animations. So first we want the person to tilt his face and say hi. So the tilt of the face can be animated by using the spin option. We need a very slight spin of say uh, 10 degrees which should be fine. Select the auto reverse option so that the person tilts his face and then it returns back to its normal position. You can change the time based on how quickly you want this to happen. Notice how the tilt of the face is looking unnatural as it is moving away from the body. So for this we need to add an anchor point so that the face moves only from the neck. So add a small circle and then group it with the face. For more details on anchor points I have uploaded another video which you can watch. Now again add the same animation of spin that we had earlier added with the grouped face and the circle. Now let's just hide the circle by removing the color and outline. Now the second part is the man has to wave his hand while he tilts his face as well so let's recreate his arm. Again for a wave we need to create an anchor point so that the arm moves only at the elbow. So again let's take a circle and group it with the arm and then we will add the spin animation to this.
the default time for the spin of the hand is 2 seconds which is very slow so we will reduce this and then this wave of the hand has to move with the tilt of the face as well so we will also change on click to with previous so that they move together now the tilted face has to disappear and the other face has to appear where we have pasted the eyes and the mouth separately so add the disappear animation on the first face and then let's move this other face exactly above the previous tilted face now let's add the appear animation on the second face which will um, add the animation to the eyes mouth and the entire face as well now this waving arm also has to disappear and his arm should appear normally over the waist so we will add the disappear animation to both the parts of the arm and then let's add the appear animation to the cropped arm that we have Now let's do some rearrangements. The appearance of the face has to happen after the previous animations. So we will change it to after previous. Then both parts of the arm have to disappear after the appearance of the face followed by the appearance of the arm which is on the waist and now for the interesting part let's add the talking animation to the mouth so select grow and shrink animation for the mouth now select only vertical at 150 percent and then increase the number of repetitions and reduce the amount of time don't forget to select auto reverse when you are selecting the grow and shrink animation so that the mouth keeps moving and coming back to its original shape. When we are talking the mouth moves both vertically and horizontally so now let's add a horizontal animation also to the mouth so again we'll take grow and shrink and then now we will select smaller and then horizontal at 50% and select the option of auto reverse now change the on click to after previous and again reduce the time of this animation After the horizontal grow and shrink, I am again adding the same vertical grow and shrink that we had earlier added for a natural talking effect. You can add this as many times as you want. Now let's create the blinking eyes effect. So for that again select one of the eyes and go to grow and shrink animation now select smaller and that to only vertically auto reverse must always be selected again for these kind of animations So let's rearrange the animations so that the blinking eye comes somewhere between where the man is talking. 
so i have shifted this to between the talking animations copy this eye animation to both the eyes and ensure that both these animations have to move together they will be placed somewhere in between talking but both the eyes have to blink together so that has to be with previous and the overall blinking eye effect also has to move somewhere in between where the man is talking to give a natural effect So friends don't forget to try out this interesting concept of animation and do like and subscribe for more interesting videos.